in this section, we'll discuss food management and what it means to Boca. How has this key aspect fit within their broader journey to date and their CSR mission and how it started from this point? So when it comes to food management and inventory management, that's a key part of what you do here at the restaurant in terms of sustainable operations. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about how you achieve that? It's a huge part and it's actually an important part of uh, most successful restaurants, uh, successful kitchens. Uh, that's where it really the planning comes to, into play. The kitchen and the restaurant's understanding of its business, um, the amount of uh, guests that they're able to receive every day. Uh, it's an integral part of menu planning. So it takes uh, a bit of understanding of how much we're able to uh, receive uh, the number of guests that we're able to receive on a day-to-day on -day basis, uh, the amount of items on the menu that we're about to sell, uh, it starts from there. And that's when the kitchen comes to play and, and uh, a professional kitchen and a professional chef will come in to do that planning for you. Yeah, it also depends also on the months, you know, like uh, some months are way more busy than the others. And uh, also, especially the days we go to the market at least three to four times a week, also depending on how busy, sometimes you just go the next day again because we run out of stock. And with this, actually, we just keep track of everything that we have. Right. Uh, could you tell us a bit about the market availability board? I mean, it's, it's quite a pioneering concept for, for this region because usually, you know, whenever a guest comes in, it's, you know, whatever they want is usually available. Yes, absolutely. But... Yes, exactly. We update it every lunch and every dinner. So for example, also the tiger prawns, you know, sometimes they're very amazing in the market, like very fresh, uh, sometimes not because uh, the fishermen didn't went out. Uh, so it all depends, you know, like on all these products, uh, what we can available. It has the quality and the price has to be correct, you know, from the market, you know, in order to sell it. Uh, if, for example, something in less quality is cheaper in price, we tend not to take it because it will compromise, you know, our operation as well a little bit, you know, with uh, in terms of quality. All kitchens will have a version of this. Um, all ki kitchens every day will communicate to the floor team what is available, what they have in stock. Now, the difference is, is that perhaps, like you said correctly, is that in our part of the world, that's maybe unknown and it could be seen as perhaps laziness on the kitchen side of not preparing enough. Obviously, it can be the case if you don't know your business well, but it's really for us, it's a, it's a mode of communication. Um, it's kind of a window into the kitchen and what's happening in the kitchen. We want to make sure that we're only using fresh ingredients that are available in the market um, according to that, that days of, of, of uh, business. Um, and we want to be clear about that. So we will communicate to the guests that today we only have X number of a certain item because it was you know, available in, in large quantity or we don't want to end up wasting that or refreezing it or repurposing it in another way. So it's a way of you being transparent with your guests and also kind of turning this communication into an opportunity for storytelling, for example, like this is why it's not available. We've seen there how Boca uses available local ingredients. They also focus on secondary ingredients and reuse the offcuts. They also use preservation methods such as pickling to reduce waste and extend the lifespan of ingredients. They also only use the best products even if they might sell out. The use of the market availability board is used to be transparent and to communicate to guests. It can also be used as a storytelling tool. Finally, doing this doesn't cost them any money, it actually saves them money. It increases the margin of the dishes that they serve and reduces waste, which reduces their waste bill.